all of those things. So let's talk a little bit about your background and training. Um, you're a, a periodontist, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And also a process. So what is a period? When you first started using the laser, okay, used to surgery, now you're doing the laser. What mm -hmm. were your initial results? Well, initially, Randy, you know, I was very skeptical, but I, you know, with, through all of my training with the laser, I really believed in it. And so after, you know, after I did my first set of patients, I would go back in and probe, and I would have, you know, very deep probings, nine, 10 millimeters, shrink down to a two and a three. It does what then? Well, the laser goes down underneath, in, in, underneath the pocket or into the pocket. It's ablating the, ba the bacteria. It's killing the bacteria that are living, not only on the root surface, but also in the lining of the tissue, as well as the top la layers of the bone. And that's really the beauty of the laser. It's killing bacteria that are living in these privileged sites that we can't get to through normal periodontal therapy, like scaling and root planing, or typical gum surgery, bone surgery. If it's as good as you say it is, why aren't mm -hmm. all doctors using a laser to do this? Is it the expense of the laser? Is well, it they don't believe it? What is it? I, I think there's some of it that is the expense, and there's some that we just really, periodontists in general, like to cut. It's hard to change old habits. You know, they've been cutting for years, and it's hard to learn a new technique and to really put the time in. Uh, energy into learning more about the laser. But this is about overall health as well. I mean, this is a chronic infection in the mouth. Yes, right? yes. Laser kills that chronic mm -hmm, infection. Mm -hmm. It's got to be good. It's wonderful. It's amazing. And, 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 and you say you give your patients, I want to quote you, laser love. Yes, yes. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> well, the laser, I, I use the laser for different things as well. Not only do I treat periodontal disease, but I use the laser to treat muscular problems caused by temporomandibular joint problems. But going into this, periodontist friend of mine, mm -hmm. and I say this respectfully, mm -hmm. he says, but Randy, traditional therapy works. Traditional surgery, cutting out the disease works. What is your response to that? Well, it does work. We've been doing it for years and very successfully. The problem is, is that if we cut out the, the uh, gum tissue, we're still leaving uh, behind lots of bacteria that are living inside the walls of the gum tissue. Okay. So we're Could not, anybody disagree with that? No, you just said? nobody could disagree okay. with that. Okay, okay. So it comes back. We never really cure periodontal disease. We're just trying to get it under control. So with traditional surgery, if we cut it out, we're still leaving lots of bacteria behind that are continue to cause the disease. It can get into the bloodstream. With the laser, we're uh, zapping all of that bacteria and uh, to allow the patient's own body to heal. So they both work. I just think that one works better. Is there any science behind what mm -hmm. you're saying, by the way? Absolutely. There's all sorts of histological... I mean, published literature? Yes, yes, showing that we're not only growing bone, but getting new attachment. Okay, so you make the... So you're killing the chronic infection. Yeah. I mean, logically, mm -hmm. this makes sense to mm -hmm. me. How could your colleagues not agree with this? And I'm not trying to side with you, mm -hmm. but if what you're saying is true, it seems like a logical thing to do, to go in, look for a laser dentist. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you yourself, yes. Like, is it laser dentistry? Yes, laser dentistry. Laser do you dentistry. use a laser for anything else, by the way, that we haven't mentioned? Well, I, I use it for cutting, uh, for sculpting gum tissue. Okay. And I also use it for my laser love when I'm treating some temporomandibular joint problems. So is it more women than men? Uh, that are coming in? Well, usually the women will come in first. Men are usually, they wait too long because they're afraid to come in. Their wives are dragging them in. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Like why? Why would the... Well, they, they know that their husband has bleeding gums. They know that they have bad breath. And they also are afraid that they're transferring the bacteria back and forth. Is that possible? Though? Yes. Is that a valid worry? Uh, it, it absolutely is. Periodontal disease is contagious. So by kissing, you can contaminate your partner. So if you have a bloody mouth, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. inside, yeah. that is going to be transferred. Well, the, ba the bacteria is going to be transferred to your significant other. What 20 million plus denture wearers, mm -hmm. upper lower denture, mm -hmm. how many of those do you think could still have their teeth if the laser technology was oh. brought in early? I think the majority of them could like have. Like majority, like what, 90%? Yeah. I mean, this I'd is say, your I'd opinion. say 90%. 90%. 90%. Really? Mm -hmm, mm hmm Is that the future of dentistry, by the way? Absolutely it is. Lasers are here to stay. It's a remarkable, remarkable tool that we now have. But the, the pocketing and the disease advances, you can't just do the scaling and root planing. So you need to either cut out that disease or laser out the disease. And you la well, it sounds like everybody would go, I mean, does anybody ever say, hey, I want the surgery? I haven't had, not. I haven't had anybody want to do traditional surgery since I've had the laser. But there are thousands of periodontists mm -hmm. that are still doing it the old way. 
mm -hmm. treating gum disease by cutting it out rather than lasering it out. That's correct. What is their hesitation? Well, it could be the cost. That could okay. be one factor. The um, cost of the laser. The cost of the laser. Another factor is they like what they're doing and they don't want to learn about the laser. They're what do you not say to them? Because dentists will watch this show. What do you mm -hmm. say to them about I, I say that they should do a little research, uh, find out some more information about the laser, and look at the histological evidence showing that we're actually... So it works. It works. It works. How has it changed your job, by the way? Well, it's made my job a lot easier. It's a lot easier for me to present the laser treatment to a patient than to present traditional surgery to a patient. Patients can sense that I believe in it so much, and I tell them about the results that I have seen, they think that why wouldn't they want to do that? And mm -hmm. so the downtime, are pe people missing work over this? Are they complaining about pain the there, next day? Tell me about that. Well, there's no, there's no downtime. I mean, usually the day of the surgery, I tell my patients to take it easy. I want to pamper them a little bit. They can go back to work the next day, do all the activities that they're used to doing. Um, so there's not really any downtime. There's virtually no pain. Uh, patients are surprised how comfortable they feel the next day after the surgery. Okay, so knowing what you know now, as a periodontist, mm -hmm. could you ever go back to the other way? If they take away your laser, what happens? I, I'd be lost. I'd be lost. I'd really? have to. I'd have to retire. <laughs> really? Yes. I mean, if you had to just do surgeries all day, you wouldn't want to do it. Well, I still love surgeries, but I just know it's not the best thing for the patient. So I couldn't go. I couldn't go back. Now, some is Dr. Alice Moran. Dr. Moran is a board-certified periodontist. Right. You say this new laser has changed everything. It's absolutely Completely. changed everything. Because the patient is not getting surgery, they can go right back to work afterwards. We even do a half mouth or a whole mouth. Typically, if I do a whole mouth, I'll sedate them so they won't go back to, to work You said they love you because, in fact, I'm quoting you, you said, well, they love me because I give them oral sedation. Oh, they don't even they're know sedated. they have the treatment. They, I call them the next day. Not only <laughs> do they not have any soreness, they don't eat, remember anything. They feel great. Their mouth doesn't hurt. And you have to remember, Randy, a lot of the patients that I treat are dental phobics. One of the reasons they haven't come in to get their periodontal disease treated is because they're afraid of going to the dentist. Uh, they go to a periodontist and you have to cut into the gums and, and, and scrape it off. So, no, what you do actually is okay. you make an incision between the gum tissue and the bone, you pull the gum tissue away, and then you take various ultrasonic instruments and hand instruments and you get in there and you get all the tartar and the bacteria out of there. Then you will also use a high-speed drill like you use to um, fill a cavity mm -hmm. and maybe smooth the bone in different areas. And then you can also do some bone grafting. Now, the laser so is So where's different. the stitching comes in, by the way? Because you oh, say there's stitches. All, when you're all done, you have to put the tissue back and you put stitches in. Put stitches. Okay. And, and can, that's the old way. That's the old but way. But that old way is still being done today, you're saying? It is. The okay. majority of periodontists are still doing conventional periodontal surgery. The way the laser comes in, and I got to tell you, Randy, I was very skeptical to begin with when I first oh. heard about this. Yes, I was very skeptical because my thinking was that you would not be able to get to certain areas. That was the thinking that, you know, when you're doing traditional surgery, you can see very much where you're cleaning. All so right. I couldn't really get how this whole thing worked. But what, the way it works is, is that light will get to areas that you can't even get to with traditional surgery. The laser, the beauty of the laser is it can get to some of these areas that you can't get to with traditional surgery. And that's why we're getting such fantastic results. We're getting regeneration that we haven't even seen with traditional surgery. Now you say that not all lasers are the same as well? Yes. Okay. So what should you look for in the laser? What you want to look for, if your dentist has a laser, you want to know what kind of laser that is. Only the perio lays by Millennium, and by the way, I don't get money from Millennium, okay. I'm just giving you the information, but the perio lays like by uh, Millennium because they are the only company that has done the research to back this protocol. And it's FDA approved. It's FDA approved, and you can see the studies in case after case where they've gotten um, healthy gums, regeneration, and these other lasers purport to, to get these results, but they really don't have um, the science. So how did you get them. involved, by the way? Because you're treating it the other way with cutting and stitches. You go to That's, a seminar, you hear about this. Well, it, it happened on a few different fronts. Um, I travel to some general dental offices to provide their periodontal treatment. Okay. It just so happens two of the offices that I go to, two of the dentists were getting involved with the periolase. 
And at first, I have to say, I didn't believe it. I kind of poo-pooed the whole thing. You didn't like it? No, I didn't like it at all. And um, so one of the dentists said to me, you know, you really have to look at this thoroughly. You ha she, gave, she gave me some of the research. She had me look at it. Well, coincidentally, I was just starting to think about it, read about it, and I was going to my perio meeting. So when I go to my perio meeting, I go ahead and I have my friends who I did my residency with, and we all talk and go to different So the perio meeting together. is just uh, It's an annual m okay. meeting with the American Academy of Periodontology. So Sounds like last... an exciting meeting, by the way. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, good. But anyway, so the last meeting, I'm with my four buddies, and that's all we talked about the whole week because... Was this new laser? Yes, because it was the first time that they had um, respectable renowned periodontist, Dr. Ray Yakna, who's known all over the world for his um, periodontal research, they had him speaking about um, the perio lace. He was the periodontist who helped out with their research. And so after all of my friends and I, we, we saw him speak, and he, told, he was talking about his experiences and said that he no longer does traditional periodontal surgery anymore. And you said, i got to get one of these lasers? Then I, between that and the reading, and though also, so um, I was telling you about this woman who was telling me that I needed to get the perio lays. Well, the next time I went to her office, she wanted an opinion, um, I think it was for an implant. Okay. Um, on a patient. Well, this patient was one that she had done the perio lays on. So I saw all her records, I saw the x-rays, I saw the periodontal charting, and I couldn't believe it. You were surprised? It was amazing. At the results? It was amazing. Are you surprised now? I mean, you've been doing it yes, for a while? Yes, yes, I'm really amazed. If this works, mm -hmm. this laser, as well as you say, and you're involved in these periodontal meetings nationwide, can't whoever this board is stand up and say, hey, this should be the new gold standard standard way we do it rather than the you know the cutting and the stitches I think it'll take I mean, some will that time. happen I think that will happen I firmly when the future so. is definitely that I think in the next five or ten years you're gonna see this starting to happen me uh, so dentists will watch this show because it's a dental mm -hmm. topic what do you want them to know about this laser it works it works tell them to to do the research to look at the patients who have had this treatment done you really have to see it for yourself and if you look at the research we record this. is this. the diagnosis this part. This is the diagnosis part. And we look at x-rays. Well, traditionally, when I was doing periosurgery, I had to, at that time, decide what teeth I was going to condemn. In other words, if a tooth is only 50-50, do I want to ask you to spend a lot of money to try to save it? Then I'm going to look bad in another year or two if we lose that tooth. Okay. Well, the beauty of the laser is... I have a lot of these t teeth that are 50 50, some that are 80 20, I think they're going to lose them. However, it's no extra work, and we haven't lost anything by going ahead and doing the laser because we're not paying additional money for regenerative materials. So you think you're saving teeth? So, in other words, we're saving some of these teeth that we couldn't really wouldn't try to save.